Now, when it comes to Forza Horizon 4, uh, we always want to find the easiest and quickest way to grind, to rank up, to make a ton of credits, to earn a ton of skill points. But it's never actually that easy, um, especially when it comes to Forza Horizon 4. I know a lot of you, some of you relied on the Glyph glitch, um, but now you have to go back to the good old methods of grinding. But it's a good thing that we have Root Creator now, because that has opened up a whole new world um, of ways to make money and xp and stuff uh, and it's made life a lot easier now obviously the main route to utilize is the highway because it covers a bigger distance and it can be covered very very quickly because there's not many hard bends on it or anything so i went over here to the coastal rush cross country race because it's in the best position to do a race of the whole highway itself now i've created an event that tries to incorporate making a ton of credits a ton of xp and a ton of skill points all in the same race in only 10 laps it takes half an hour it's about three minutes 10 seconds 15 seconds uh, per lap now i recommend using a forza edition car uh, as they are the best cars for it uh, you know you've got the 8c competitor zone which gives you credits boost i'm using the aventador lp 700 uh, forza edition which gives you speed points same as a pagani zonda um, you know, there's a BMW M5 uh, Horizon Edition, the Caterham. The list just goes on and on and on. Each of them boasts in their own sort of special boosts and perks. Um, but I went for the Aventador one in the end because it gets the speed skills and you mostly use them on the motorway. Now, this is the actual layout of the course itself. So you start, obviously, where the coastal circuit is. You go up to the top, come around the roundabout and go all the way down to the roundabout at the bo bottom of the motorway. Come back up and here's the important part. You come off the motorway and come around past one of the houses that you might own, down a little country road and back to the start where you'll go around again and it's obviously a lapped race um, because otherwise going back to the start for a lap race sort of from the front of it you have to spin a U-turn it just gets very complicated and tricky. Now what I'm going to show you here is um, basically as you can see at the top of the screen you can see all the skill points I'm racking up. Now that's halfway through the first lap of the race so not even many laps in you'll make about 20 skill points uh, per lap so at the end I, I made an absolute ton of them. Obviously I've set this to 10 laps but you can then edit the blueprint to whatever you want. Uh, you saw the name at the beginning I will leave it in the description as well um, but there you go there's over 10 skill points there and I'm only halfway through the first race so i'm going to bring up the map in a sec and you'll see it so it's very very quick and easy xp and skill points here so there you are i've still got half the race left at that point now what i'm going to do show you here is a full lap uh pay attention to the very end where you come off the motorway and down the little country road as that's the most important part i'm going to shut up now but i'll get back to it when you've watched the complete lap
Right, so there you saw what a complete lap looks like, and now I'm going to show you what the results were. Uh, I hope you paid attention to that final lap, because obviously at the end, you saw where I come off the motorway and down the little country roads to the finishing and start line. Uh, it might get a bit tricky, but if you want to race it with friends, you might have that advantage over them to have it. But mainly I designed this race so you'd have a bit of an edge and advantage over the AI. As you can see there, the best lap was 3 minutes 18 seconds, so it's very, very quick in terms of lap times. And like I said, I made this race with everyone in mind, trying to consider bringing in all aspects, credits, influence and skill points all in one race that you can make a ton of them and not have to grind for ages and ages so it's half an hour and the result are massively worth it. Now, obviously I'm fairly high level so it doesn't look like I earned much uh, as I only leveled up about 10 times but obviously you've got to bear in mind the higher the level the more sort of influence you have to earn to level up. So 10 levels at a high level like that is quite good. Obviously I earned about I don't know, about 150 or so skill points during the race, uh, a few wheel spins, and as you saw there, a ton of credits and an absolute ton of influence. So I think this is probably a very, very good method, especially when you compare it to the Goliath race, which takes a lot, lot longer, uh, and the rewards might not be as worth it, because you might not have the time to do it. So like I said, I tried to make this one with you guys in mind. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this, I hope it helped you out. Don't forget to search for the race. Uh, at the beginning I showed you how you can search, uh, other people's blueprints I'm sure some of you as added me as a friend the name of the race is there at the beginning but I will also put it in the description for you there you can see I got 302 skill points and I was only on about 100 and, I don't know 30 or something prior to that race uh, but anyway a massive thank you for everyone's support I hope this helped you out don't forget to drop a comment if it did and a like and subscribe for more videos just like this thank you very much guys